are up to Lesson 97 in the workbook of A Course in Miracles. Lesson 97, I am spirit. I am spirit. Today's idea identifies you with your one self. It accepts no split identity, nor tries to weave opposing factors into unity. It simply states the truth. Practice this truth today as often as you can, for it will bring your mind from conflict to the quiet fields of peace. No chill of fear can enter, for your mind has been absolved from madness, letting go illusions of a split identity. We state again the truth about yourself, the Holy Son of God, who rests in you, whose mind has been restored to sanity. You are the Spirit lovingly endowed with all your Father's love and peace and joy. You are the Spirit which completes himself and shares his function as Creator. He is with you always, as you are with Him. Today we try to bring reality still closer to your mind. Each time you practice, awareness is brought a little nearer still. Sometimes a thousand years or more are saved. Sometimes a thousand years or more are saved. The minutes which you give are multiplied over and over, for the miracle makes use of time, but is not ruled by it. Salvation is a miracle, the first and last, the first that is the last, for it is one. You are the spirit in whose mind abides the miracle in which all time stands still. The miracle in which a minute spent in using these ideas becomes a time that has no limit and that has no end. Give then these minutes willingly and count on him who promised to lay timelessness beside them. He will offer all his strength to every little effort you make. Give him the minutes which he needs today to help you understand with him, you are the spirit that abides in him and that calls through his voice to every living thing, offers his sight to everyone who asks, replaces error with the simple truth. The Holy Spirit will be glad to take five minutes of each hour from your hands and carry them around this aching world where pain and misery appear to rule, he will not overlook one open mind that will accept the healing gifts they bring. And he will lay them everywhere he knows they will be welcome. And they will increase in healing power each time someone accepts them as his thoughts and uses them to heal. Thus will each gift to him be multiplied a thousandfold and tens of thousands more. And when it is returned to you, it will surpass in might the little gift you gave, as much as does the radiance of the sun outshine the tiny gleam a firefly makes an uncertain moment and goes out. The steady brilliance of this light remains and leads you out of darkness, nor will you be able to forget the way again. Begin these happy exercises with the words the Holy Spirit speaks to you and let them echo round the world through him. Spirit am I, a holy son of God, free of all limits, safe and healed and whole, free to forgive and free to save the world. Express through you the Holy Spirit will accept this gift that you received of him 
increase its power, and give it back to you. Offer each practice period today gladly to him. And he will speak to you, reminding you that you are spirit, one with him and God, your brothers, and yourself. Listen for his assurance every time you speak the words he offers you today. And let him tell your mind that they are true. Use them against temptation and escape its sorry consequences if you yield to the belief that you are something else. The Holy Spirit gives you peace today. Receive his words and offer them to him. That's Lesson 97, I Am Spirit. If you would like to read my commentary on the workbook this year, go to amytorresasim.com and click on Amy's blog. Namaste.